about the next time around, you see. Good, Rabelito. In fact, the boat took us from here, Barcelona, across the Atlantic Ocean, into the Caribbean Sea, and here to Cartagena. And across these mountains here will be our new home, Nueva Aragon. That was quite a voyage. <laughs> Diego! <laughs> Diego, what are you doing here? I can't believe it. We've only just arrived. Well, after ten years, we won't have much of a visit. I sail for Spain tomorrow. Ah, but perhaps then I will convince you to stay. I can. I'm sure you remember, Marie. Oh, yes, of course. Diego, what a wonderful surprise. Thank you. And who's that? Rafaelito. Rafaelito, come. How do you do, sir? Shake hands with the best swordsman in the old world. And in the new world as well, I presume, unless you've taken my advice and put away your sword. In this part of the world, that would be very unwise indeed. Centuries of tradition have left us with a mentality that resists any attempt at change. Europe is old and set in its ways, but the New World is the ideal place to create a model of humanity and justice in government. Ten years later, and you're still having the same daydreams. <laughs> and perhaps ten years from now, they will have come true. And even you will agree it was worth waiting for. Miguel. You're about to become the governor of a colonial province yes. that has always been ruled by greed and hatred. In the past, yes, but help us. You can't change it. Perhaps not. But I shall die trying. You see, Diego, it was God's will that my uncle should die of malaria and that I should take his place as the new governor. And I shall govern according to God's will. If your uncle died of malaria, it was man's will, not God's. <laughs> what are you saying? There is no malaria in the eastern provinces. <laughs> Maria, pay no attention. He, he's I'm not joking, Miguel. You are if you think you can play the shining knight in armor without armor. Diego, my honor is my armor. The armor of a fool. Don't you call my father a fool? He's the bravest man in the world. You're not as brave as he is. You're the oh, fool. Ready to to go to bed. Don't you talk that way to my That's father. Now, come along. <laughs> He's no right to say it. I don't care. I'm sorry, Miguel. Oh, doesn't matter. A son is bound to think a lot of his father. Why don't you stay with me a little longer? No, thank you. I have to get an early start in the morning. I understand. 
I'm much too restless to sleep. Perhaps Joachim will take the evening air with me. He's uh, my friend and servant. He cannot speak, but he can hear perfectly. So, it was good to see you again. Goodbye, Governor. Ah. Come. you. Huerta. Coronel Huerta. I want to know why. Why? Why? No governor must reach Nuevo Aragon. Diego, no! Diego, oh. no! Oh. Oh. oh, Diego. Everywhere I go, I find man's need for violence. Very well. No governor will arrive there. Yes, you will. A governor will arrive there. And he'll make them pay for this. <laughs> Believe me. No, Diego. You can't go. You'd go there to kill. Save your strength, Miguel. Please. Diego, you must promise. Swear to me. If you go in my place, the new governor will never kill. Remember, Diego. I am that governor. My principles, my ideals. You must keep them alive, Diego. Take this seal and swear on the life of my son. I have but a moment. I swear. Papa? Flora Feleito. It's me. Your father had to go away last night to take up his post as governor. But why didn't he take me with him? 
Because his job is a very dangerous one. He had to go alone. But you were right. Your father is the best and bravest man in the world. And for that reason, he will succeed. of the aristocratic council. It is three months now since our governor died and his successor has not yet arrived from Spain. The simple truth is that Spain is too distant from Nueva Aragon and our situation is far too serious to tolerate another moment's delay. Our enemies surround us on every side. Up in the Cordillera, the English have hired bandits who systematically harass and rob our transports. In the interior, they build revolution. What we need, gentlemen, is drastic action, and we need it now. I call upon you to place in my hands the army and the authority of our government. I assume I have your consent, gentlemen. Consent by silence. Eh, Colonel Huerta? You are Colonel Huerta, are you not? I am. But of course, gentlemen, I can understand and appreciate the heavy weight of such a responsibility. What responsibility is it you're talking of? Why, my own, naturally. I am Miguel Vega de la Cerda. By sovereign grace, your new governor. My commission, Colonel. Gentlemen, gentlemen, a little decorum, please. When did you arrive, Your Excellency? But a moment ago. I did not want to interrupt you, as I thought the occasion offered me a splendid opportunity to assess the circumstances. And were you able? Did you assess the circumstances? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid so. And unless you exaggerate, things are very bad indeed. To think that I was already sufficiently shaken by the tragic death of my poor uncle, Don Fernando. Well, there's time to talk of all this. But for the moment, I must beg you to excuse me. I've not yet had the chance to kiss my dear aunt. But you have no idea how poor Uncle Fernando um, contracted the sickness? Likely he picked it up from some wicked woman. Malaria? You ask me many questions, my dear nephew. But the fact that until now I have never seen you, that means nothing to you. I don't understand. What are you saying? I mean simply that if I don't know what you look like, it is because of my lifelong disinterest in any and all matters concerning our family. I tell you this, so you won't feel obliged to engage me in small talk. Oh, but of course, excuse me, my dear aunt. I'm sure Uncle Fernando's death upset you dreadfully. Ha <laughs> ha, upset me? <laughs> you 
you're joking. <laughs> I was upset that his death didn't occur some 20 years earlier. Oh. <laughs> we lived as perfect strangers. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Ask your uncle's best friend. They shared the master bedroom. They were inseparable. Really? Uh, who was that? He called him... <laughs> Oh, is that who you mean? An essence. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what an amusing name. Is, is it justified? And now, good night, my dear Thank you. I hope we see as little of each other as possible. Come, Tiger Lily. You know you can't read. Allow me myself to introduce Excellent Rittmeister Fritz von Merkel. Personal aid to His Excellence, your late uncle. At your honor, sir. At ease, Captain, at ease. And all this bounty of the gods, you brought it? I the unexpected good fortune had this thoughtful gift for you to receive. They were the favorite mm -hmm. sweets of His Excellence, Don Ferrando. Hmm. Thank you. Bring me some. Pass out! Da kommt ihr schon wieder das verdammte Schein! Hört ihn weg! I'm sorry, sir. I am terribly sorry. Oh, but... Uh, don't worry, Captain. It won't go to waste. Have a look. Hmm? Oh. Now, what's this, Captain? Indigestion or malaria? Indigestion. <laughs> oh, it, it goes up there. Oh, yes, it does. Thank you. How, how could I have known? They were by the same person brought who always them delivered to His Excellence Don Fernando. Ah, oh, perfect. The bodyguard administers the poison. <laughs> But, Senora, you cannot believe that I... All I know is that incompetence among men, be they governors or bodyguards, is all that's left to amuse me in this world. My dear Miguelito. Do you know what this is? Oh, dear, no. Tell me. It is the habit I shall wear when I enter the convent. Oh, just the thing for such a place. <laughs> something joyous, something gay. Better the convent than another marriage any day. And you, man, you can't even imagine the woman could exist without your muscled, masculine protection. Isn't that so, Miguelito? Well, I, I, well, I... I'm a man of peace, my dear aunt. Sit! Oh, go! One is not even sport. You four. Stay alive, you've a lot to learn. Now go. Splendid, splendid. But I always thought this sort of drill was conducted with the blunted weapons. Only real danger and actual bleeding can teach a man to fight. Besides, their weapons are equally as sharp as mine. Colonel Huerta, it has taken me only 24 hours to realize the gravity of the situation here in Nuevo Aragon. May I request you prepare plans for the protection and security of our people? 
I am sure I will approve any measures you think necessary. I move by your faith in me, Your Excellency. Moreover, I, uh, I should be very much reassured if you would arrange personally for my own physical safety. It would be an honor, Your Excellency. Ah. And I have the very man. Garcia! Excellency! Him? Oh, yes, him. Garcia! Present! Ah! Extraordinary. <laughs> well, well. I assume his appetite is as great as his strength. My appetite? Yes seeing as you'll be required to taste each and every course of my meals. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Huerta, please. Now we'll see how long Huerta will be happy with a weak governor. Instead of a dead one. Now we've got to find a way to get out of this museum. You shut up now. to talk to me? You want to say something? Well, a secret passage. How convenient. Don Fernando's Road to Adventure. Ah, oh, yes. Stairway. We'll use it to get some answers. Thanks. No, no, no. You want answers? Go somewhere else. There are many things I don't like, including the work I do. But what I like, least of all, People asking questions. Understand? Tell me about life in Nueva Aragón. Oh, no. Forgive me, senor. 
But you can see what I sell. It's not much, and it's not very pretty. It's worth only a few centavos, but I produce it from the land, and the land is hard. It ruins the hands. But if I talk to strangers, I will risk even what little I have in life. After all, I have my wife and children to think about. I'm sorry, sir. Don't touch. They buy. They buy. But now they less for it each day. The when I know it's unfair. <laughs> No, senor. Thanks just the same. I'm only a wandering minstrel and I want nothing. Just my song and my freedom. Bobby <laughs> Chicken! Bobby Chicken, slow! Why do you stand there? Get them back, guys! Call the guys! Arrest those chickens! They're flying away! Arrest them! Somebody, Ramon, Jose! Ah, my chickens, my chickens! Get them back before somebody steals them! I want them counted! I want everyone Father, counted! Hear me! Hear me! Everybody! Brothers, my friends, you know I am one of you. We all wear the same rights, and we all know the same hunger in our bellies. We will one day share the justice of heaven's kingdom. But what about here and now? We suffer all too patiently. We are too full of fear. Now a new governor has come. Perhaps he is an honest man, a just man. And if he is, why don't we go to him, all of us together, and ask him to hear us out? Clear the streets! I say we should go to him, all of us together. Clear the street, out of the way. Brother Francisco, the soldier, come quickly. Speak. I want that monk. <laughs> Find me! Find the monk! Where he is! Who saw him? I saw him, Trenron. He went that way. Vamos, vamos por aquí! Pero el batán es no podéis encontrar un cura vestido de blanco. Hay que fastidiarse. Where did the monk go, huh? That way. <sighs> Listen, I'm not a soldier. You can trust me. Where did he go? All right. You're coming with me. We'll have a little chat with the man with the goats and chickens. Chickens? Make up your mind. Will you trust me? All right, you win. <laughs> What's your name? Chico. All right, Chico. Let's find the monk. And we'll bring his cart back to him at the same time. All right? Tell me, Chico, what's the Z for that you wrote on the fence? It is the sign of Zorro. Zorro? Who's Zorro? The spirit of the black fox. He's a great fighter, and he always wins. He can never die. But aren't you the monk's friend? You're a Christian, aren't you? Yes, I am Christian, but I believe in Zorro, too. What do you believe? I believe he'll come back one day and free all the poor animals. Only the animals? 
What about the people? Oh, people are too wicked and too afraid. They don't deserve to be free. Brother Francisco de la Trinidad, you are accused of fraud against the merchant Ramiro Valdez. Witness. Here, present. You sold him rotten, worthless hides. The hides were perfectly good. Why don't you have a look at them? Full of worms. I had to burn them. <laughs> you are a liar. You will also be punished for insulting an honest tradesman. You insult the truth, Senor Magistrado. Very well. You will also be held in contempt of court. Enough of this fuss! You know perfectly well the sentence has already been written. And you know the real reasons for condemning this holy man. He is guilty only of protesting injustice. He is guilty of denouncing cheats, exploiters, profiteers. Shut her up. <laughs> Ten lashes for fraud. Ten more for defamation and slander. More, Sergeant. Who are you? What do you want? I want to show you what justice is. Sergeant. Of lashes 
They wanted to give the monk. Now start! <laughs> this is just the beginning. How will you manage to take them all when you leave? What makes you imagine that I would want to drag this gallery of nightmares back to Spain? No. Oh, who is this delightful creature? Your cousin, Hortensia Pulido d'Olvidades. Oh, I must meet her as soon as possible. You want to meet her? Poor dear. Clearly, misfortunes never arrive alone. Misfortunes? The Pulido d'Olvidades are virtually penniless. But how's that? It's what they deserve. No. For conspiring against the people of Nueva Aragon. Colonel Huerta, you startled me. You came in like a like an assassin. What? Assassin, my uncle's dog. <laughs> um, you were saying that the Pulidos were conspirators. There's undeniable proof of the fact. Oh, but. How can it be? Conspiracy. Oh, just look at that face. It's all purity, innocence. Why do you put up with this? Don't you see that unless you throw them off your backs, these people will starve and enslave you? You know full well the weight of your grain, your livestock. You know those scales are rigged. Senorita, stop that nonsense. You are trying to cause trouble for us. We have enough trouble with that bandit Zorro. I'm here for your protection. And my presence will teach that clown to keep his distance. <laughs> what clown, Sergeant? Tell your soldiers to drop their weapons. Oh, Zorro! I need you, Sergeant Garcia. And I need you alive. Yes, sir. You heard the gentleman? Drop your guns by the well! Ah, you're a born leader, Garcia. Yes, sir. Up on the scale. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see. Only 50 pounds? <laughs> so you are full of hot air, Garcia. Now, are you ready to order those thieves to pay a fair price for a fair weight? Or do you have more tricks up your sleeve? Just one! Oh. You got another one. If I catch you, I kill you. Is that a fact? Keep it first. You go. See? Try again. Keep coming, Sergeant. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stand still. Stand still. You move around too much. Oh! You would like that, wouldn't you? All right, then. I'm standing still.
I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, listen, everyone. Sergeant Garcia wants to return what he stole from you. Take it all back home with you. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Joseph. I've been waiting for you, senorita. You're safe. Thank God. I must say, this is the first time I've seen an aristocrat take sides with a bandit. It is innocent people, not bandits, who are pursued by soldiers here. Where does your family stand in all this? It's a long, sad story. How could it interest you? <laughs> you seem to forget that I'm here to bring back justice into this province. And maybe the joy into your eyes. The soldiers! You had better run. I'm afraid for you. Don't be. Oh, please go. I beg you. Hasta la vista, señorita. What are you doing here? Search the house, question everyone. But first, bring me Polito and his wife. My parents are not at home. Well, then I'll have to wait for them. The rest of you, search the outlying area. The bandit is here somewhere. Now, you and I must talk. It won't be needed. make the most of this opportunity. I'm offering to marry you. You stay away from me. I'm giving you a chance to redeem your entire family. I know that at this moment, it may seem like a sacrifice to you. But ultimately, ultimately, you may find it a pleasurable experience. <laughs> There's only one way you can pay for that. That's enough, Colonel. If you don't know how to respect a woman, I'll have to teach you. You're very brave. First you disarm me, then you challenge me. I'm just a bandit, remember? And a bandit will do anything to get what he wants. I want you on your knees, begging forgiveness from this lady. You must be mad. On your knees, now. I'm an officer! You're an insect! Down! Never! Colonel, when I get bored with tearing your uniform, I'll cut your heart out. Swear you will never offend her again. I swear. Please forgive me. Now get out. Oh, 
leaving? You'll be safe here. Take care, please. I am still afraid for you. If only I could help. You've given me another reason to live and fight. That's help enough. Thank you. We shall meet again, bandit! celebrating my departure. I didn't expect him to go into mourning, but this is ridiculous. Traveling with so much wealth. I worry about you. What about the bandits in the hills? <laughs> the bandits of the Cordillera? <laughs> Just let them to start something, try. <laughs> Fall it! Adios! Very good! Halt! Banditen! Hä? Also los! Mm. 
Coronel Huerta will be pleased. And be up at all. Take off your gold, ladies and gentlemen, and hand it over to me. Look, it's the angel Gabriel. I'm taking up a collection for innocent victims of corruption and robbery. What better way to celebrate this feast of humiliation? I am sure you'll all be generous. business to the mine, sir. Very well. I'm very worried. Throughout the country, the people despair of these mass arrests. Is there no possibility this campaign will provoke a, a major rebellion? 
Your Excellency, I do know what I'm doing. This bandit who calls himself Zorro must be caught and killed. And the people who helped him must be made to pay for their treachery. Bandits of the Cordillera. I knew it. I just... and was able to sustain us. He located water, bound up my wounds. He has calmed down and... He's the man I shall marry, Miguelito. If he will only have me. But, but no. this is fantastic. A fairy tale. Do you know what I'll do? In your honor, my dear aunt, mm -hmm. we'll throw a great party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Countess Pulido and their daughter Hortense. I'm delighted you received my invitation. <laughs> I'm delighted you received my invitation. I've looked so forward to meeting you. Senorita. All the injustice, the countless outrages we have suffered these many years, Father. Why, they pale before so splendid a reception. Oh, to say nothing of the great pleasure of being once again surrounded by people of our own class. Oh, I... Noblemen and ladies, who never so much as lifted a finger to help us. Oh, Cousin Hortensia, you speak with such confidence. There may be gentlemen present who would take issue with your pronouncements. Gentlemen? I notice no gentleman. My, my Colonel my. Huerta. Perhaps Senorita Hortensia means that the role of a gentleman can be fulfilled only by a bandit. If you refer to Zorro, Colonel Huerta, you already know that I've had ample opportunity to compare that so-called bandit with the likes of you. Senorita. Oh. Uh, please forgive me. Excuse me. It's that silly dog. <laughs> Now, what have you done? Have you written me a poem? <laughs> ah! Oh, my God! Governor, the verdict is in. You've been pronounced guilty, the sentence death. Signed Zorro. 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 of this apartment will be sealed. I alone will have the keys. We will install an alarm system. Every quarter of an hour, I will pull the first rope. 
and the bell will ring here. And you will reply by pulling the other rope, yeah? Signaling that everything is well. I have other ideas. Very well, well, Captain. Now leave us. To be fair. Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I have devised a perfect plan to capture Zorro. Hortensia Polito will be taken prisoner, tied in chains, and dragged around publicly until Zorro comes out of hiding to rescue her. But, but Colonel, she, she, she's an aristocrat, my own cousin. Oh, no, 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 I can't. It's a matter of life and death, Your Excellency. Your life. Oh, my life. Your death. So oh, my death. Arriva! Get in! were waiting for me in the streets. So I came here instead. I had time to prepare your escape. Brother Francisco will hide you. And Huerta will look like the fool he is. But the guards are all here now. How can we get by them? <laughs> I've arranged some surprises for them. You'll see. second door. What was that? Go and see.
is down there. Go straight to the mission. And you? Idiot! Idiot! If they escape, you'll all be shot. Hurry up. Go. Get about the girl! Get Zorro!
Vamos todos conmigo. A la torre. Of course. There's only one other person who knew of this plan. Of course. What plan? Come with me. A horse! A horse! Get me a horse! A horse? My kingdom for a horse. Room, give them to me. Impossible. Without orders from His Excellence, nobody gets the keys. If you don't give me the keys, I kill you. I'll give you the keys. <laughs> All right, get down. Get down, assassin. Open the door. Look, I'm on your side, but you'll have to cooperate. <laughs> Slide under the bed. <laughs> My apologies, Your Excellency. Colonel mm Huerta? -hmm. What is going on? Zora has rescued Hortensio Polido from the fortress. He was waiting there for her. He seemed to be aware of each and every aspect of our plan. Well, that's impossible. Impossible may be, but it happened. Only one person besides myself knew this plan. You! But, Excellency, I could say the same thing. Colonel, have you gone mad? If I were mad, would I be here? What, what, what do you mean? I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only. To capture Zorro. And to see him hanged. Fair enough, Colonel. I think there's only one thing I can do. Oh, yes. I agree. You recall the message? I'm the one Zorro wishes to destroy. Therefore, I'm the one who must serve as bait. You? How else can we tempt him? It's his life... or my own. It's not that I doubt your ability, Sergeant Garcia, but are you sure you've seen to everything? The forest is alive with soldiers, Your Excellency. Every shrub, every tree, every rock on each bank conceals men armed to the neck and ready to defend. shall carry out the plan to the letter, fearlessly. Now, real fishermen always separate. Mm. You'll go downstream, and I'll go further up. Good luck. Thank you. 
Excellency. Get after him! And they will touch us! Oh, but you're not going to leave me all alone. At least allow Sergeant Garcia to stay with me. With pleasure. It's a trout. He took it hook, line, and sinker. Adelante! Díganme! Let's put the arithmetic aside for a minute. You have got to help Zorro! Yes! Do you all remember what to do? Yes! And in your scum, come, come, come. Les digo que está vestido de negro. Buscarle por todo burro. Over here now, hurry! I want to be so. Here you are. Here, here is yours. Here's your mask. Thank you. Thank you. Here. And here is your mask. That's right. I'm the Come. No podéis encontrar un bandido vestido de negro. Hay que fastidiarse. There's no one here. Search everywhere. Sorrow. You know you had an excellent run to 
tell you, or I'll wring his neck and have him stuffed and fed to the dogs. <laughs> Come on. I'll join you there later. with one stone, eh, Sergeant? Hey, go, go! Oh. Drop your guns, men! The governor's inside! 
with Zoro's gun pointed at his head. Thank you, Sergeant. If I live through this, you can be sure of my eternal gratitude. Have no fear, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding according to my strategy. Las armas, Pascualo! Release the monk. Exactly. Release the monk. Have faith, brother. You're not alone. Drop your rifles! All of you! That's an order! Now release them. All of them, immediately. No! Release them! All of them! Immediately!
you must live. The people need you more than ever. Go. Go. Ah! I'm up. Bandit is dead. And as for the governor, well, at least he will have had a hero's death. And now Nova Aragon will have a new governor. And you, if your father knows what's good for him, will have a husband. We ask for justice. With Jesus at our side, we demand our freedom. You may thank your God that in honor of this occasion, I've decided to pardon you. Only God can pardon. In this very church, you contrive to profane the Lord's sacrament down on your knees and pray for his mercy. God, arrest this priest. Arrest him! Detenerlo! Detenerlo! This bell is ringing for you, Colonel Huerta. No. You have a rebellion on your hands. The blood of your victims cries for justice, and justice will be done. Soro, he's alive. Soro can never die. Detenerlo! God, fire! Fire! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! You fool. No. 
got away with it, Colonel. But you pushed these good people a little too far. And now they're going to push you back. Francisco releases me from the promise I made to another man of peace. Who you butchered? It's easy to kill saints, Colonel. Let's see how you do against a sinner. Kill no more, Colonel. No more.
See you. 